Hi everyone, I wanted to let you know that now you can get 14 days free trial in my online studio where you can come in and check it out, try out some of the videos, the different programs and the journeys that we have going on. If you're interested, you can just click the link below in the description and that's it. Soma also is very excited as you can see. <laughs>Hi everyone, welcome to this little drill drop. We are going to focus on something that I call aligning through transitions and basically it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> it's about moving from one point to another point, aligning as you're moving through the transition. So the example that we're going to use today is from airplane to warrior one. Airplane is a position where, <laughs> if I can stand up <laughs> without falling, you're square through the hips, so the, the hips are pointing forward. Um, the rotation through the right femur bone or whatever leg is going back is internally so that your right toes are pointing down towards the floor. Warrior one, the hips are squaring forward, but the position of the back foot is different than if you were to step from airplane pose and keep that alignment of airplane pose and just step all the way back, you would be more kind of optimally aligned for a lunge position. So I like this transition because it causes you to kind of like have to be a ninja in the air with your back foot. So I'm just going to explain it a little bit and then we'll try it a few times together. The position of the, of the foot of warrior one, the back foot, is at a 45-ish, I like to say ish, just because then there's a little bit of space to be malleable. At a 45-ish degree at the back of the mat, and the hips are moving in the direction forward to be squaring forward, but they aren't necessarily square forward. The front knee is stacked over the front heel, and you really want to find like an anchoring down through the knife edge of the back foot, a pulling up through the front of the thigh, and a wrapping of the left glute underneath and towards the back of the left knee to really stabilize through the pelvis. I also like that activation because it helps me to really get into the muscles of my legs to be really like powerful. So if you lift the heel from here and rotate the back inner thigh up towards the sky a little bit, it helps you to square the hips forward and then you're kind of more in this optimal shape or this alignment that's closer to airplane but if you keep the right big toe rooted and slowly pivot down to root the knife edge of the back foot, then you can feel that this right hip kind of pulls back a little bit, so you're on a tiny bit more of a diagonal here, and we're in warrior one. Pivot to roll the right inner thigh towards the sky, and here we are in lunge again. So from airplane, the air, ver, version of airplane that we'll do is more of this like extended through the spine version, the cobra kind of expression through the heart. So come to the top of your mat. And bring your feet hip distance apart. Bring your hands onto your waist. Press down onto your pelvic girdle and lift up a little through your chest to extend through your spine. Lift and spread your toes and then press down through the big toe mounds and the pinky toe mounds. Anchor through your heels. Press your big toes and pinky toes down, and then articulate the other three, six toes down. <laughs> three, six, six. Then shift the weight into your left foot and grab the earth with your left foot. Then flex the right foot and bend your right knee out in front of you. Inhale, puff your chest up and extend down through your left foot. Hug your shoulder blades towards one another. Now as you exhale, keep your hips square, squaring forward as you slowly kick your right leg back, pull in at your waist, curl your heart forward, stretch your fingertips back, and then firm the front of your right thigh. From the front of your right thigh, roll your right inner thigh to the sky. Now for this transition into warrior one, begin to turn your right foot out towards the right. As you do that, 
Begin to bend your left knee, reach your fingertips forward a little to counterbalance the weight of the back foot. Then extend more back through the right toes, squeeze the right thigh, extend a little more through the fingertips. Now stretch your body long here in opposite directions and then anticipate the landing of just the right big toe to the floor at the back. Anchor the right big toe and then the big toe mound. Then articulate the knife edge of the right foot into the floor at a 45-ish degree angle. Wrap the left glute underneath you, lift your pubic bone, pull in at your waist, squeeze through your right thigh, extend up through your fingertips, and sink down into the shape, pressing your feet away from one another. Then lift your heel and roll your right inner thigh towards the sky, stretch your fingertips forward. Come to the tip of your right toe, press through your left foot, reach your right leg up and back, fingertips back, heart forward, press down through your left foot and rise all the way back up to stand. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hands to your waist, we'll do the other foot, lift and spread your toes. Articulate the big toe mound, pinky toe mounds, and heels to the earth. Big toes, pinky toes, and then the other toes. Shift the weight into your right foot, grab the earth with that foot. Flex your left foot, bend your left knee, and bring it up. Press down from your pelvic girdle through your right foot. Pull in at your waist and extend up through the crown of your head. Hug your shoulder blades. Then keep pulling in at your waist and begin to slowly pivot your heart forward. Kick your left leg back. Reach your fingertips back and slingshot your heart forward. Then press through the left big toe mound. Squeeze the front of your left thigh and see if you can curl your heart a bit more forward. Now, begin to turn your left toes towards the left as you reach your fingertips forward. Bend your right knee and really stretch your body in opposite directions here. Then anticipate the landing of the left big toe, then the left big toe mound. Then from there, carve down to the knife edge of your left foot. Wrap your right glute underneath and forward. Lift your pubic bone, pull in at your waist. Puff up through the upper cavity of your chest and extend through your fingertips. Hold on to the air with your fingertips and grow the crown of your head up. Lift your left heel up, roll the left inner thigh towards the sky. Bring your torso forward, engage your core, root through your right foot, lift your left leg up, stretch your fingertips back, and roll, keep rolling your left inner thigh towards the sky. Bring your um, upper arms away from the floor, and squeeze the front of your left thigh as you root the right big toe. Press through your right foot, rise up, and stand. Bring your hands by your sides. Lean a little bit into your back body, like you're pressing the backs of your hands, the back of your head, your shoulders, and your butt, and your heels into a wall. Okay, let's do it again. Hold the earth with your left foot. Bend your right knee. Flex the foot. If you want this time, bring your right leg out straight. Take an inhale, puff your chest. And as you exhale, slowly pivot. Keeping your right pinky toe pointing down towards the floor. Draw your outer right hip forward, outer left hip back. Squeeze your right thigh, stretch your fingertips forward. Bend your left knee. In slow motion, anticipate the landing of the right big toe, big toe mound. Carve down to the knife edge of the right foot. Wrap your left glute in towards the midline and forward. Lift your pubic bone, pull in at your waist, puff up through your chest, extend your feet away from one another as you reach out through your fingertips. Lift your right heel, torso forward, core strong, press through your left foot, reach your right leg up. Fingertips back. Press through your left foot, rise all the way up to stand, and extend your right leg forward. And bring your palms together and your right foot down. Grab the floor with your right foot. Shift the weight into it, bend your left knee. And if you want, again, stretch your left leg straight out in front of you. And slowly pivot, sweeping your left leg back 
Pull in at your waist, reach your fingertips back and your heart forward. Dive bomb your heart forward as your left leg grows stronger. Reach your fingertips and your arms forward. Bend your right knee. Anticipate the landing of the left big toe, big toe mound. Carve down to the knife edge of the left foot. Wrap your right glute forward. Lift your pubic bone. Cinch your waist. Puff your chest. Extend through your fingertips and press your feet away from one another. Lift your left heel. Torso forward. Core strong. Press through your right foot. Lift your left leg. Reach your fingertips back. Stretch your heart forward. When you exhale, use it to rise up. Stretch your left leg all the way forward, parallel to the floor. And then place your left foot down. And bring your arms by your sides. From your pelvic girdle, press through your feet, pull up through your thighs, lift your pelvic floor. And then again, it's like you're rooting the back of your hands, the back of your head, the back of your heart, your butt, and your heels into a wall behind you. And then every point that would be rooted on the wall behind you, stretch them farther away from one another. We're going to do this drill one more time. Grab the earth with your left foot. Stretch your right leg up in front of you. Inhale. Exhale. Sweep it back. Reach your heart forward. Inhale. Arms reach forward. Right toes reach back. Left knee bends. Exhale to slow motion. Land the big toe, big toe mound, knife edge of the foot. Wrap your left glute and inhale, rise all the way up. Press your feet away from one another and extend. Exhale, lift your right heel, torso forward, core strong. And lift your right leg up as your fingertips reach back. Take an inhale here to grow long. Exhale, use it to press into the floor to rise up. Inhale, kick your right leg forward. And as you exhale, bring your right foot down to the floor. Take one deep inhale, and one deep exhale. Grab the floor with your right foot, and as you inhale, reach your right leg up. And as you exhale, slowly pivot to airplane. Inhale to reach your fingertips forward and stretch your left toes back. Exhale to slowly land. Carve the knife edge of your left foot down. Wrap your right glute and inhale. Rise up. Expand into warrior one. Exhale, lift your left heel. Pivot forward, root to the earth, and come back into airplane. Take an inhale here to expand. Use your exhale to press down, rise to stand. As you inhale, kick your left leg out in front of you. Squeeze the front of both of your thighs. And then slowly bring your left foot to the floor and bring your palms to face forward. Micro bend your knees, lift and spread your toes, and then begin to press down through the four corners of your feet. Activate the fronts of your legs, pull your feet towards one another, anchor your big toe, toes, uh, pinky toes. And then like you're pressing again, the back of your hands, your head, heart, butt, and heels into a wall behind you, and then extending all of those points farther away from one another. And you're spreading out your back body. And then relax. <laughs> and I hope that you enjoyed that slow motion, very uh, deliberate movement made me made me sweat a little bit. That's really fun to play around with um, in many between many different points, many different poses. So we can exp explore more of this aligning through transition, uh, transitioning <laughs> as we go. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.